Welcome to this short tutorial for CRISPR Analyzer and I will show you how you can upload FASTQ sequencing data. Similar to read count, just go to set up your screen, upload your data and then select the FASTA library file. Check that the regular expression matches the gene identifier and sgRNA, and then go and upload your FASTQ sequencing file. Please make sure that the FASTQ sequencing file is gzip compressed. Depending on the size of your files, the upload might take a while, even on a local installation. Once the upload has been finished, you can change the names of each file if you like. After that, please proceed to step 3 and set the FASTQ options. First of all, you need to select a regular expression. This is necessary to extract the sgRNA sequence from your sequencing data. We have some predefined settings for common vector systems, but you can also go and add your own regular expression. In this case, I just select the one from the Lenti CRISP library. You can have different BOTA2 sensitivities and quality criteria. Staying with the default is the best. After that, click on Check Files. And CRISPR Analyzer first starts to check the uploading sequencing files and the sgRNA library file, which will take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. This pre-check is necessary to make sure that you uploaded the correct data files. After that, the extraction and mapping of the files will begin. Please note the minimum expected time that is shown below in the green box. Depending on the sequencing data, this can take a while. So just be patient. Once this has been done, CRISPR Analyzer will show you with pop-up that your data have been uploaded and checked successfully, similar to the read count file data. Just close this model and head on to the review data section. You can see that this progress bar is now at 100%. CRISPR Analyzer will create a FASTQ quality report between 93 and 100% of this progress bar, which can take some time depending on your computer speed. So be patient. After the data has been uploaded, go to the Review Data section, where you can not only see how many samples you upload and how many sgRNAs are in your library, but you can also download the read count files that have been generated out of this mapped files immediately. You can use these files later on to rerun an analysis, which is much faster than just uploading the FASTQ data again. Moreover, you can download a dedicated FASTQ quality report with this button. Quality controls are also included in the report later on. Then you have the overview of the uploaded data samples of the file name, the provided name, the size, and sgRNA extraction ratio as well as the mappings. This is gRNA extraction ratio tells you how many reads within your sequencing file CRISPR analysis was able to extract US GNA barcode from. So in this case, 87% of all the reads Chris Banners was able to extract the SGNA barcode. In the second map to reference, it tells you the bowtie 2 mapping statistics. So it says that 77.64% were successfully mapped to your library reference once. Moreover, you were able to set a quality threshold, and even with the high quality threshold set, 96% the mappings reach this threshold. So in total, starting from your raw data, 65% of your raw data actually could be mapped perfectly to your DNA and is used in the analysis. The download analysis raw data tab here will only become active once you have run this analysis successfully. In order to start with this, you can just go back 
to set groups and gene identifiers to start with the analysis section. For more videos and a live demo, head on to crispr-analyzer.org.